Patent Voice project uh, is an opportunity for the many disabled groups within the borough of Merthyr to come together with one concerted voice. I mean, we are also trying now to get access um, easier for people with visual disabilities to cross roads, to put crossings in as well. That'll make it safer and easier for people who are unable to see to cross roads. We went to a meeting in Cardiff to do with the changes in St Fagans uh, that would aid people like ourselves access to the exhibition halls and walkways and generally help the visually impaired to find their way around. There are people out there we can now, t I can now turn to to give me a fresh look at what my issues are and, and how I can deal with them in a, in a, from another direction, if you like. It's a focal point. So um, we are helping a Polish, but not only a uh, community, um, with um, everything, problems they uh, may face while uh, living abroad. Translation, um, asking for help, uh, signposting to other organization, um, all sorts, all kind of letters and um, um, everyday problems, doctors, schools, um, rent, whatever you may face. It's like giving them the, the, the feeling that there is someone they can rely on. So that's very important if you live abroad with no relatives around and uh, you struggle with the new language. POSIP, um, it involved our children working with parents and also with the member of staff in the classroom. The parent shared her experiences with the children as a storyteller, which encouraged the children to share some of their experiences back. It gave them an opportunity to work together creatively. The book is actually bilingual, and I think it's excellent for the children to see their stories written in both languages, especially for our pupils who are learning Welsh as a second language. They use the artwork as a stimulus to develop their writing and again their oracy skills. Well, it's impacted certainly on their social skills and their collaborative skills and it's enabled the children to work far better together um, engaging in tasks and they found it really fun actually. And I think when learning is fun, it makes it far more beneficial for everybody involved because they want to do it. It's the Visible Project and it is uh, specifically to raise awareness about lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender people. The volunteers do um, a large amount of work. They raise awareness among schools in libraries and they produce pamphlets. During LGBT History Month, the rainbow flag was flown over Merthyr Council buildings for the first time and it gave the opportunity to talk about um, discrimination. It's nice to know that there are people in Merthyr who are working in these areas because it does make it um, a safer place for me to go to if I know that people are, are more aware. You know, if we have to fight discrimination sort of like one day at a time, that, that's what we have to do. Uh, my partner is transgendered and uh, we will, when we moved to Merthyr, we felt very isolated. And uh, so since then, we've, we've found visible and Visible have been very helpful um, making us feel more part of the community. I just think it's given me um, and my partner a far more positive feeling about ourselves and, uh, and less isolation. Bridges is a Gypsy Traveller project supporting the Gypsy Traveller communities to engage with services they need and empower them to have a voice on issues that concern them. The continuation of bridges would enable the liaison with local gypsy traveller families, which helps them build trust for services available to them. We share gypsy traveller awareness training to professionals in the area to help organisations feel confident working with gypsy traveller communities. This helps break down negative stereotypes, ensuring that engagement is effective and supportive. We celebrate the strong heritage and culture of gypsy traveller communities through events and exhibitions across Wales to help gypsy travellers feel proud of who they are and for the wider communities to respect and acknowledge gypsy travellers as ethnic minority groups. My role within the project was to inform the young people 
and empower them with information about how we live. Get a dialogue going between the two different age groups um, to dispel myths about how we lived and, you know, just because we're old people as they see it, you know, we, we can still be on the same wavelength and sort of um, say to them, there is hope out there. The project is called Up and Coming and it's basically um, a project put on in order to um, cross counter the negative news coming out in Merthyr Titville and the areas around and it involves young reporters and youngsters you know putting out positive kind of news and stories out there online into newspapers into TV to yeah to counteract the negative. The main two benefits that came from the project are the fact that young people are more aware of how to find positive stories and positive news within their city and it it's a motivation to them as well to do better in their lives probably you know they're gonna do much better and they're gonna look out for the positive and not the negative